citizens, property insurance is not solvent. That's how Florida Governor Ron DeSantis described the state-backed homeowners insurer during a national interview last night. But some insurance experts are reassuring the community that citizens is doing a lot better now compared to last year. Suji Nam joins us now from the studio with some of the progress made with citizens. Suji? Tiffany, Felicia, in October of last year, the state regulated citizens property insurance had about 1.4 million policyholders in Florida, which is way higher than average due to the availability of private insurers and a very active hurricane season. But since then, citizens has been working to relieve that pressure through depopulation. Now, while citizens has been growing at about 30 to 40,000 new customers a month, the insurer has also moved about 300,000 policies and counting to private companies since October. Citizens property insurance is rate restricted and experts tell us that the agency will do everything it can to transfer many of its policies to private companies to limit extreme risk exposure and keep their reserves. Officials say if citizens depletes their reserves and that could mean a surcharge or a hurricane tax to every citizens policy holder and every consumer in the Sunshine State. Now the goal for citizens is to get down to about 400 to 500,000 policies to prevent any of that from happening. Now I talked to the Insurance Information Institute and experts responded to the governor's latest comment that citizens insurance is not solvent. Citizens could never go insolvent. Private insurers can, but because citizens has a state regulated backstop program, once again, it's the surcharge or what we call the hurricane tax, their claims will always be paid. They will never be in a position of insolvency. However, the burden would be on Florida consumers because if they get to a level where they need to implement the surcharge or hurricane tax, we're all going to pay for that. And citizens' goal is to move another 300 to 400,000 policies to private insurers this year to keep the number of policyholders and citizens low. Now, I reached out to the governor's office for a comment, as well as citizens' insurance for an interview, and have not yet heard back. In the studio, I'm Sujin Nam for WPBF 25 News.